Bree gave us the ability to climb to a next level. Uh, the biggest benefit has been allow us to take forward something that we really see was needed, the government really saw was needed, and to make that match. You know, normally, uh, you, when you're in startup mode, uh, you've, you've either got to slog it away, you know, and, and you're leaning on your family or partner to, to support you while you're trying to get traction, or you'd go out and, you know, you try and raise capital and get investment in it, and you give over equity. So um, the condition with Bree, where you get the funding, you keep the IP, is fantastic. It starts with the problem rather than with a, with a new technology that is looking for an application. So I think that sets it apart from other innovation programs. So we don't see it as, as a program where, where you, you get some money and go away and do something and write a report. The key uh, thing about it is that the, you're looking to commercialisation at the end. So you're, so you're always thinking about how do I, first of all, do I deliver on the contract that I've got? And secondly, what happens after that and how do I take that forward? It's a fantastic program that um, kind of uh, mashes up a, a grant program, a traditional government grant program, with almost an accelerator program. When the challenge came along, we saw it as a great opportunity. It was something we'd been thinking about, but the cost of building the sort of web and mobile applications that we're building in this was basically prohibitive. And we always thought that was a bit of a shame because we sit on a huge amount of information uh, within Marsden Jacob that through giving public access to that, we felt could be really beneficial to the development of water markets. We put forward what we thought was quite a, a radical um, idea and an innovative idea. Um, and we weren't sure if the government were gonna go to it, to be honest, because it was quite uh, cutting edge. But uh, I think they saw that there was an exciting opportunity. Often with a uh, with a procurement process, it can be can be quite uh, uh, Byzantine, I suppose, <laughs> and uh, and so that uh, you're never quite sure what the outcome is going to be. Uh, with this, it was pretty straightforward. Uh, there were there were clearly set out criteria. Uh, you address the criteria. You either you either did good good job or you didn't, uh, and you got a result. I think the main challenge we've had in the Brie challenge has been the timeline. So we are creating a brand new device that didn't exist before the challenge and it's being developed through our company, Yugotech, and our partners very, very rapidly. So I think the time to product has been um, very, very short, but we're going to succeed. In a matter of months, we've been able to build products that are live and that we can sit around kitchen tables with irrigators, and we have been doing that, and, and show them and you know, watch how they use it and watch how they play with it, basically, and learn from that. From the very first proposal that we put in all the way through, we decided to give it our all, basically. Uh, and so that, that set us up well, I think. Um, but on the other side of the, the coin, the, the Brie program, those who've been running it, um, have done an, a really great job. Um, specifically, they've been great at being very responsive to our needs and our requests. I think there's a bit of a perception with government uh, that it can be um, quite bureaucratic heavy, a lot of red tape, a bit slow um, and whatnot and, and what we found was the opposite. Our work with the Bree team has been fantastic. We've had a lot of support and guidance and importantly we've had a lot of feedback during the process about how we're performing. So we're much more confident going forward to work with government and we would not be afraid to approach them and say hey we can solve this problem. We're actually now commercial and, um, and actually our solution is out there um, working for the government already. So we think commercially we've, we've got some great bones, <laughs> you know, good, good stuff that we can, we can apply elsewhere. So the, the future's looking very bright. It's clearly meeting a gap in the market and we look forward to going live. Scaffold will become the go-to solution in Australia and New Zealand to begin with and then we're looking abroad at other countries who are really trying to push their democracy capability forward.
yeah, we plan to go global.